Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and today we're going to learn how to place a image inside of a shape using Affinity Designer. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I already have a blank document open. This is a 1920 by 1080 pixel at 72 dpi document. For this tutorial, let's imagine that your client or your boss wants you to create a web banner. So 72 dpi is a good choice because you want your image to load faster and it's also convenient to have a smaller file size. So let's go ahead to our menu bar and select view, studio, and select assets. Now this palette will appear with a library of icons and shapes. And for this example, I'm going to use the alarm bell icon. So let's go ahead and resize the bell. And we'll just center it. As you can see, it snaps in the center for you. And now we're ready to add our image into the shape. So let's go back to our menu bar and select File, Place, and select our image. And then click anywhere on the artboard. Now let's go over to our Layers palette and move the image layer into the alarm layer and now you have the image inside of a shape. Now you can adjust the size to your liking until you're completely satisfied. Like that. Alright, so now that we learn how to add an image in a shape, let's try adding an image to multiple shapes. So let's go ahead and hide our bell layer by selecting or deselecting the checkbox and let's create three different shapes there's our first shape let's center it you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna change the color just to make it um, more visible Okay, let's create our second shape, like that, and let's create our third and final shape, like that. Now I'm going to expand the alarm layer and duplicate the photo by pressing Ctrl J. Now I'm going to drag the duplicate above the alarm layer. I didn't mean to drag it into layer 1. And I didn't mean to drag it in the pentagon shape. <laughs> Let's expand that pentagon shape and drag it one more line down. There we go. Now let's select all of our red shapes and go up to our toolbar under the geometry functions. We're going to select add and then as you can see all three shapes are combined. Now we drag our photo into the combined shape layer and there you have it our photo inside all three shapes. But let's go ahead and expand that layer and select the photo to resize it like that. And there we have it. This is a great way to make your design work stand out. Uh, in a future video I will cover how to do this but using text instead of shapes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. 
let me know in the comment section below what you guys think or what kind of tutorials you look forward to seeing uh, on my next videos. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to check out what other creative projects or tutorials I'll be working on. And on that note, I'll see you next time.